Previously on The Bill. <laughs> the simple fact is the guy that stabbed me was an AIDS junkie. I did it for the money. 500 pounds. I want to know what you're doing about that dodgy judge. Your best mate. Right, there's a grand in here, okay? You put it in this account in the name of Ken Drummond. This is before. Okay. Cheers. Oh, oh. That's where you're going, Florence. Sorry, my sister's a bit excited. We're going to feed the ducks. You're feeding the ducks? Urgent assistance required. National Equity Bank of Canley High Road. It's a shooting. Two injured. One male, one young female. Suspect on a motorbike wearing back levers heading east on Fenton Road. Look, just get an ambulance here now. Sorry, mate. Let me give you a hand. Luke, is this yours? Yeah. Yeah, cheers. It's this bloke who said he'd take a look at my car. Thanks. I better get going. This is meant to be a short but... Yeah, thanks. You're right. Fine. I just was speaking to the guy just before it all went off. You're bleeding. I got myself. What's the matter? You're HIV positive. You shouldn't be helping. DCI and Judge Sinclair. It's all very cosy. Yeah, the governor told me to steer clear of the charity, dude. So what's he doing there, then? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get something else out of the judge. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe there's something a lot dodgier going on. I don't think so. Bannon, the only thing we've Nicky, got... it's a done deal now. The case we've already got against the judge will take him out all nice and orderly. Now, we both know that. Mm. So are you going to talk to the gov or shall I? I'll confront him. I'll ask him what he's doing here. Yeah? Yeah, straight out. All right, man. I'll catch you later. The index came from a little old lady's Ford Fiesta in Scumfall. Yeah. One thing, though, it weren't a pro job. How'd you reckon that? Got four shots and no one dead yet. Plus, it was in the middle of the day when the street was full of witnesses. And then there was a little girl. Yeah, there is that, I suppose. <sighs> you know, she was just going to feed the ducks. Phil's old school. Ignore him. He couldn't spell emotional pygmy. Right, just upsets me. What's the matter, love? It's Diaz Hunter, being his usual sympathetic self. He wouldn't touch me because I was bleeding. That's terrible, Cathy. Yeah, you know what he's like. Some people freak out when other people get ill. Don't let him get to you. Catch you later. Yeah? You wanted to see me, Gov. Uh, any news on the shooting? Yes, the dad's OK. It doesn't look so rosy for the little girl. But Phil and Ken are dealing. Right. Was that all? No. Look, you tried to kiss me. It's no big deal. Well, I want to apologise. What for? Well, I'm your boss and I was out of order. Oh. So you were trying to take advantage of a lonely widow? No. I have feelings for you. And, uh, just sorry they're not reciprocated. Hmm. What gave you that idea? Well, he pushed me away. Oh, well, it was a shock. That's all. 
Mrs. Field? I better get it. Sorry to interrupt. I need somebody to go down to St. Hughes and stand guard on this drive-by until CID can get to the bottom of it. Well, hang on a minute. What if they come back and finish the job? I'll be all right. It's a low risk. Anyway, he's a big boy. He can call for help if he needs it. I said I'll be all right. So, I worry about you. Well, don't, because I'm on. Mr. Manola? Yes. I'm Luke Ashton. I'm going to be waiting with you for a while. I thought I heard her try and talk a minute ago. Do you want me to get someone to bring you a cup of tea or something? They wanted to keep me in a bed away from her. <laughs> Unbelievable. Aren't you injured, though? Nothing that bad. Do you know who it was? They would want to shoot me. I keep thinking people who do that sort of thing don't make mistakes, do they? Harry? Oh, no. Can you fill these forms in for Inspector Gold before she starts shouting again? I didn't know you were a messenger boy. Yeah, well, I put him for some time off this afternoon for your funeral and she got all funny with me. Getting funny is very important to Inspector Gold. Which funeral? No one you'd know. And the truth is? Simon Kitson. Oh, Look, I just want to go along and pay my respects, that's all. Look, it is not your fault that Simon killed himself. You can't keep taking the blame. Just fill him in and send him back, Tom. I'm serious. I can't think of anyone who can even ride a motorbike, let alone want to kill me. Or your daughter? No. So, you're an accountant? Technically, I'm a bookkeeper. I never finished the exams. We'll need a list of your clients. Won't be hard. Just a few good ones. Local businesses, really. Go on. They're not going to be relevant. Look more interesting, Mr. Manolo. Magical Wax, that second hand music shop in the market. Um, Gary Turner's Fancy Goods Outlets, Lasco's Bookshop, a couple more. Many. Yep, go on. Um, uh, Paddy's Flowers. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Have you finished with him? We're just taking a list of his clients. Have you fallen out with any of these recently? Mm -hmm. What about the Rush brothers? They just sacked him. He's coming back in. They didn't sack me. They just wanted someone with better tax knowledge. Who were the Rushes? They were horrible to you. You'd done so much for them. Would this be the same Rush brothers who own bars on Flood Ferry Road? Mm hmm Yeah, I did bits and pieces for them both. They've got a reputation, but they're all right. They've been very good to me. We've also had a spot of bother recently. Yes. Just a few incidents. Oh, people like to talk these things up, don't they? Yeah, they do. But go back to your daughter, Mary. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. What about your job? I've been to see Inspector Gold, I've told her what you're up to, and I've arranged some cover. You did what? She agreed. You can't be moping about at funerals on your own. People are going to think you've gone weird. I want to go on my own. There are two brothers, right? Steve and Lee. They each had a bar and then loaded. Bent? Well, they don't need to be. I was in one of their bars last week. I ordered two minerals, right? Guess how much it cost me? On my life, seven quid. Seven quid? What's that all about? Yeah, we well, all just stick to the dog and gun. So what about this bother? Well, someone was leaning on them and uh, they decided to slug it out. Word on the street was that uh, they refused protection. Not the most obvious friends for a bloke like Manny. Well, they run a big scene, don't they? Good-looking birds, flashy clothes, brand new murkies, that sort of thing. Yeah, all very attractive when you're a humble bookkeeper. All very attractive when you're a humble cop, I believe me. But if they've been having trouble, someone might still be settling grudges. Do you fancy a bit of glamour? That one is Steve's, and this one here is Lee's. Well, they do love their motors, don't they? Well, of course they do. They're good old boys from Hamel. White trash may good, but don't they done well for themselves? 
You're not bitter, are you, Ken? A 350 a bottle? Of course I'm bitter. Water pours out of the ground. It bubbles up in springs. It runs in rivers, streams, puddles. It rains down from the sky. Most days of the week, you pick it up in buckets. Water is free. God said so. What, they actually drag you off the streets and force you to buy their drinks, do they? What next, eh? A £20 cover charge for the air you breathe when you're in there? A sunlight consumption tariff? Yeah, I'll try, Steve. You let me cry on your shoulder and you killed her. Nick! I loved her. Say so you're sorry. Would that really help? Try me. Nick, Dallas wasn't the only one that died. No, you killed other women, didn't you? Six other it. women. And one man! Which man? Simon! Stop it, Nick! Leave it's not worth it! Nick! Just leave it, Nick, no! Simon died because he was weak. Simon died because we were in love. What? You think you love Cass Rickman, but I love Simon more forever. Don't you even compare? We were lovers. It's much better when your brother and sister believe you me. You murdered Cass because you were jealous of her and Simon. Leave it, Nick. And you came to the funeral to stand on her grave. Get off me. I want to talk to her. Whatever you had between you and your brother was dirty and revolting. Don't you ever, ever compare me and Cass. Oi, I want to talk to you. Say you're sorry. Oi, say you're sorry. I said say you're sorry. Excuse me, mate. Yeah. Is Steve Rush about? Yeah. Steve! What? The S. Phil Hunter, Sun Hill. What, you changing your image? No, we had a little fire here a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago? And you're still clearing up? It must be more than a little. Yeah, well, we needed a revamp, didn't we? Steve! Back on my help. You used to have an Alfred Manola working for you. The <laughs> Manny, yeah. <laughs> Called him Piglet, didn't we, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Always had his nose in the trough, Manny. Was he on the take? Nah, just had a bit of flash, you know, the type. We parted company, what, a week ago? About that. Was it musical differences? He wasn't up to the job. So what's the idiot done now? He got himself shot earlier this afternoon, along with his little girl. Okay. No, they're not okay. You're joking. Fires, shootings. You're having some bad luck lately. I wouldn't say that. No, what happened? And if they're still leaning on you, I can help. Look, no one's leaning on me. I'm fine. All right, end of it. The window went through a couple of weeks ago. Some drunken kid in his mum's hat's back. It was nothing. Kids, eh? Got any more of these? I'm a bit thirsty as well. Tell you what, I'll have a mineral water, one of those over there. Hey. So what I hear about your brother's car being burnt out, was that about the same time as your window went through? More or less, I suppose so. Just before your brother's place went up in smoke. Oh, and the accountant for both your businesses got shot. Not to mention his daughter, of course. When you add it up, it's terrible. Mm. But that's bad luck, isn't it? Always comes in threes. Or fours, or fives. Whatever. The missus. I'm sorry if I go with dewy eyed for a moment. Let me guess. You married her for a brilliant conversation and her fine, unfettered spirit, yeah? Excuse me? Nothing, mate. I'll catch you later, all right? Lunch. Here you go, love. Altruism. Oh, I love it. It's my new creed. Well, what'd you get? Well, someone's been leaning on them, but they're toughing it out so far. But uh, something's wrong. Lee's been on the source. Yeah, and Steve's acting up. But he's not that surprised that bullets are flying around. Yeah, but why Manny? I don't know why anyone would want to shoot me, Carrie. I swear it. You got any kids? Oh, don't be stupid. He's too young to have children. And he got married a month ago. Well, that's lovely. Lily. Shooting me is one thing. But they shot her. Who's they? Whoever shot me. Did he really not see anything? 
My wife is out there doing supermarket sweep just to put the kids' supper on the table, and I don't even know where I'm going to find the money for that. So back off! No, look, I'm, look, I'm sorry, look, I just don't have it at the moment, all right? I'm sorry, OK? You got a problem? No, no, mate, no, just trying to book a holiday, you know. Same old, same old. Wife wants to go to Seychelles. I quite fancy Rio. <laughs> so, uh, how's Dennis? Yeah, no, good. He hasn't got a clue who's done the rushes. What? That man is his speciality. He knows all about the rucks they've been having, but he doesn't know who it is. He's had no word of any hitman, amateur or not. Great. But he did say that the brothers have been having a fallout recently. You know, big rows. But they love each other. They're inseparable. Yeah, well, he reckons we should talk to a John Lyons. And John Lyons was the rushes Mr. Fix-It. He also was Lee's best man when he married Della. Now, he got the push just before these rounds started. So, where do we find him? I'll make a few phone calls. In the meantime, do you know anybody in customs and excise? Yeah. He will make a call, find out if Manny's kosher. Owen, Ken. Milk and two. Let me tell you for a coffee. I've already got one, Gov. We can't talk here. Um, I'm really snowed under, Gov. Honestly. I'll have a tea for a drink, I'm not so sure. I mean, what if someone saw us? Well, we could drive out of town. We've got three agents. Can I think about it, Gov? I'll let you know later on. So if I were to say to you he calls himself just a humble bookkeeper, sir? Yeah, well, apparently John Lyons has got a lot of time in his hands recently. Oh, I see. Yeah? Where? Thank you very much. OK. Well, now, to quote customs and exiles, Manny is a devious little liar who kept the Rush brothers out of prison for far too long. Now, why don't they invite him to all their parties? Yeah, but Steve said he fired Manny because he wasn't up to the job. Well, maybe they just don't like accountants like everybody else. I think everyone should keep their money under the mattress. Yeah, well, those of us that have got any. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, we've got to go and play in the swings. You off your grub? These pills are making me feel rubbish. What pills? Well, they put me on some combination therapy, but I feel terrible. I wonder if they've got it right. Well, you've got to trust them, though, haven't you? It's a bit early for that, isn't it? What's your CD4 count? Uh, five, ten, I can't remember. Uh, I get all mixed up. You don't know your CD4 count? Yeah, I'm useless with numbers. Robbie. See you later. See ya. Don't think I'm the one. Sure. That's all, do you want? No. <clears throat> John, you were Lee's best man. There must have been some falling out. And maybe you felt they owed you, maybe you wanted to get back in. I left on good terms and I know nothing. Which two of yours? Nice kids. See that little girl over there? Same age as Florence. Florence got a bullet in the head. We want to know who did it. Mr Meadows had a go at me for disobeying his orders. Seems like he was there with his missus. Last minute invite, cheers. She does voluntary work for this charity that Sinclair's involved in. You believe that? Yeah, I do, actually. She's always up to that sort of stuff. Did he get anything else on the judge? Only that he still claims that he was taking bribes for money. The governor reckons ain't the half of it. Yeah, well, let's hope the CPS see it that way. Mm. Anyway, it's out of our hands now. At least we've got the governor on our side. Yeah. This protection law is rubbish. Everything that happened to the rushes, they've done themselves. You what? Steve's car got torched. Lee did it. Lee's window got put through. Steve, they're firing Angelicos. Lee. Brothers, eh? Brothers acting like kids all over again. So why were they fighting? And why do they shoot Manny? Have you met Della? Yeah, she's an attractive lady. And just before this started, she goes missing for a week or two. And then she comes back, but she's walking around with a black eye for the longest time. What do you say? He doesn't know what a diamond he's got in Della. She's a good girl, but he is a very jealous fella. So once a year, he starts to think that Della's playing away games. Once a year, she denies it. Once a year, she gets her head kicked in. So what's that got to do with Manny? I don't know. The only thing I can think is, Manny put Leon to Steve. Why would he do that? I don't know. 
One thing I do know about Manny, though, he's full of tricks. Always got his own angle on stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to hear that. So Steve shoots Manny? They don't like people taking the mic. It's a theory. Yeah, it is. Come on, kids, let's go. John. Why did Lee give you the sack? I said I thought he was better off without her. Bang, 20 years down the pan. Women. Who needs them, man? It's very nice. So what's this all about? You know Alfred Manolo? Manny? Of course I do. What's happened? He's been shot. A man in the black leather jacket came along on a motorbike and shot him and his daughter. The evil son of a... Who? Steve. His daughter got shot. Florence. Yeah, she was out with her. I bumped into him just beforehand. She's critical. Can you tell us anything about what's been going on? The thing you've got to know about Manny is he looks really straight, but he's so not. Clearly. He's a bit gullible, of course he is. But he would be. He's worked in an office all his life. And Lee and Steve know how to play people like that. People who think their lives are slipping past. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, you don't. You're one of us. But Manny took it all too serious. He really loved it. Until he wanted what they had. What's the most glamorous thing in Lee's life? I don't know. Me. Huh. So, what do you think Manny tried to get hold of? Uh, you? No, I can tell you're a detective. <laughs> Lee had him shot because he tried it on with you. He was obsessed with me. He wouldn't leave me alone. Lee was bound to notice. Yeah, but he didn't shoot anybody else who fancied you. What made Manny different? It was my fault in a way. Oh. I got drunk one night. We end up in bed together. What? Manny? Yeah, actually. Manny used to talk to me for hours. Nobody ever talks to me for hours. There's a man called Jerry Naylor. He's scum, but he uses a gun for money. Yeah, what about him? He came round to see Lee and Steve about a week ago. Did they hire him to shoot money? If I'd known that, I would have called you lot. He lives in Deptford, the King's estate. Poor right, Jim. What's up? Nothing. You seem wound up. You could say a bit wired. I don't need this. Nick, listen up. I'm clean. And more than that, I'm fine. Really. Lee Rush told me he thought Della was having an affair. He said he was going to find out who it was and kill him. He's a very violent man. I started wondering if I really did love her or whether I was just being stupid. You see, it's nothing like gut-wrenching terror to make you ask questions like that. But then I thought... I couldn't give it up. It? Her. Huh. But I was scared of Lee, so I needed someone else to get the blame. And so you set Steve up? It didn't take much. Lee's always been envious of him. Della denied it, got a beating anyway. Steve denied it, got his car burned out. Uh, how'd they twig it was you? Della got scared by what Lee and Steve were doing to each other. She wanted to stop seeing me for a while. I tried, but I couldn't. I had to keep on. I suppose I got a bit careless. Reckless. Lee caught me with her. Never seen him so angry. He was cold. Quiet. I knew then. Will you testify to that? I mean, I'll have to go to court. Oh, yes, Manny. You will have to go to court. But if I do that, it'll come out. Carrie will find out why Florence got shot. We're going to have to have a very long conversation about this, Manny. Not now. Not till I know about Florence, please. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Sorry, I took ages. What's happened? Is she all right? That's nothing. We were just talking. A CD4 count, it's 320. Oh, Kathy, come on, please. What's wrong? The one number that you would never forget is your CD4 count. It's a load of crap, this HIV thing, isn't it? I'm sorry. You're not ill. You're just having a laugh, but it isn't funny, sweetheart, because you're making a mockery of people who really are ill. How dare you? You're lying to the whole station. 
You get yourself in a terrible pickle, and I just wonder why. And be sure, if I've sussed you out, it won't be long before others do too. Day and night. It's disgusting. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling us, Mrs. Constance. I'll I'll deal with it. Two minutes, I need to pay you. Right, Poor old Manny, eh? Hmm. I don't know. He was messing around, he got caught. Well, as simple as that. Why are you asking? When he just got married. Just interested. Do you reckon you get away with messing around there? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't be stupid. Who's the girl? There isn't anyone. I'm a detective, Luke. I know when someone's hiding something. Ken, I'm not hiding anything. All right, all right, let's be hypothetical, shall we? It's simple. You will only get away with messing around if you are what is known in the trade as a crumpet man. Now, to be a crumpet man, you have not only got to duck and dive, but also be able to handle the fact that the other people involved will get very upset if they find out what you're up to. Manny, plainly, is not a crumpet man. You also do not strike me as a crumpet man. So on that basis, I think you should forget about whichever girl you're seeing. There is no girl. And concentrate on the lovely, heavenly Carrie. You ready? Ah, my date has arrived. Be a good boy. Yeah. P.C. Ashton, Sun Hill. Can I come in? Sure. You must be the welcome party. Not quite. Uh, sorry about the mess. Please, have a seat. So, how can I help? We've had reports that you've been exposing yourself out of your window. No way. What the... I get it. I get it. This is a wind-up. Hardly, sir. Apparently, you spend a lot of time in front of that window with no clothes on. <laughs> Go on, this is a lad sending you down here for a warm-up. This isn't a joke, sir. One of your neighbours has made a serious allegation against you. Now, why haven't you got any curtains? I only moved in, say, two days ago. I haven't had a chance to get myself sorted out. OK. Well, it doesn't take much to put a blanket up. I'm not that organised. Can you see in here from the street? Everything. Wow. <laughs> Precisely. So, you didn't realise? OK. Well, we'll leave it there, but um, put a sheet or something up, yeah? There's a lady over there who can't take the pace. Not a problem. I'll get curtains, lots of curtains, thick curtains, ceiling to floor. But a favour. Can you keep this quiet? I'll have to write it up. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Problem is, we're going to be stable mates. I'm sorry? Well, I'm actually a copper myself. I've just shipped out here from Oz. Done my Hendon retraining. I start at Sun Hill tomorrow. She looks so peaceful, doesn't she? Oh, we'll get through it. You're right, Manny. We have each other. And a cool mum. She's got to be in this time. You have to tell her. I can't. She's going to find out soon enough. You can't let her hear it from someone else. You have to explain to her why you did it. I don't know why I did it. It was a blip. It could happen to anyone. Anyone? You. Well, I... It wasn't a blip, Luke. You get married. At first, it's great. Then, over the years, your life changes. You find yourself in a place you don't want to be. Then you meet someone you do want. Now you can try and forget this new person, but if you do, you'll hate yourself forever. Or you can go for it. And you went for it. Della is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I wanted someone like her. All my life, Luke, but I never had the nerve to try until then. We only slept together once. Amazing. 
It was okay. I was happy just to be with her. Knowing she was in the world made me happy. And once you've felt that for someone, how can you ever go back? You've got to tell your wife you've no choice. The sunrise in Koh Samui and the colour of the water. Kerry, I mean, if you get the chance to go, you've got to take it. Oh, it sounds beautiful. I must have seen loads. Ah, uh, not enough. See, so that and a couple of nights in Java are the only places I've been. Just two quick stops on the way over here. Well, it's better than nothing. I want me and Luke to do some of that sometime. No, why can't you guys travel? You're young and newly married. Should take a career break. Yeah, time's not right. Well, you've got a carpe diem, you know, why not? Surely there's no kids knocking around. Not yet, um, but soon. Actually, very soon. You're pregnant? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. No one knows yet, though, not even Luke. I'm telling him tonight. No, I'm really pleased for you. Well, I hope he's going to be really pleased. <laughs> Get out of here. He'll be grinning like a shot fox when he hears. Yeah. Well, anyway, I better be getting back to work. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. And listen about the whole flasher thing. Uh, if anyone picks up on it, I'll say the old lady had a stepladder and a telescope to see into your flat. Jim, have you seen Sergeant Atkin? Uh, she's gone down to the lot week for now. You OK? Yeah. No, I've just heard something really weird. What? Well, the hospital called and said they wanted me to come down. They said it was quite urgent. Anyway, I get there and they've mixed my test results up with someone else. Like what? I'm not HIV positive, I can't believe it. Oh, well, that's wonderful. How can they do that? Oh, I don't know. Well, are they sure this time? Oh, yeah, I saw all the paperwork. They said they wanted me to see it because I wouldn't trust it otherwise, so... You should go for compensation. Well, they can't get away with that. I can't do that. I'm just so relieved. I can't believe it. I'm just going to put it behind me. That's great. It's great news. Hey, Rush, I'm arresting you for the conspiracy. Rush. I'm arresting you for the conspiracy. Get him out! Get him out! Take him out! Get out! Get him out! Take the boy out of Hainal. Listen, let's go back here. The hospital screw up. They terrify you, and who knows how many other people have got the wrong result. And, and you're happy to let it go? No, I've been let off the hook. I just don't obsess about it. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. So, I'm going to take you out for a drink tonight? I, if it was me... Oh, I'd come on, I'm... Brandon. You've been fantastic about all this. In fact, the only one who has. Just let me take you out, buy a drink, say thank you. Yeah, go on, man. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Good. All right. Later. How was it when you were a dead been putting out with that dorky little accountant? You must have been angry. Not really. What, your dead prefers a bloke with a 20 quid watch and a knife and fork haircut to you with all your gear? I'd be pretty angry if I was you. In fact, I'd make a bit of a fuss. It'd help cover up the shame. It did wind me up, but we had a chat. She knows what she'd done. We're over it now. <laughs> For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Mr. Rush exhibit HS1. That's the bullet lead. The one that hit a little girl in the head. Now, that's looking like it was fired from a Glock pistol. I've never held a gun in my life. I've never held a gun in my life. Do you pay to have money shot? No, I've told you. I don't know anything. A man called Naylor lives on the King's estate. You met him a week ago. Jerry did come round, but we talked about the football. Look, I don't know how many got shot. Could have been anyone. You can buy a gun for pocket money these days. And that row with your brother, it must have cost you both a bob or two, and all over nothing. What was in your head? What you think? Steve's on the job with my missus, so I know what I'll do. I'll smash up everything I've got, because that'll make me look like a gangster. And everybody knows gangsters are really hard, don't they? Bada bing, bada boom. Huh? Poor old Steve. Gets his bar torch because his little brother can't keep hold of his missus. Some people can't. It's sad. I wouldn't know. Steve needed a slap anyway. Did he? You really think that he's going to get back to you and Della? 
that you'll be able to forget that she's been with another man. Sorry, an accountant. Who, let's be frank, has made a big pig of himself because this is probably the first time he's ever slept with someone as tasty as her. But most of all, do you think that Della's ever going to forget that you've shot a little girl in the head? I wasn't there. I didn't do nothing. Mum's coming over. I couldn't believe it. She'll be here in half an hour. Carrie. She kept on crying. Carrie. All this. It's because of the rushes. What are you talking about? I got shot because I was having an affair with Lee's wife, Della. I'm so sorry. Oh. How long? Not long. How long? We only slept together once. Mean it. It's, it's over. It was just a mistake. The thing. Harry, 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 calm down. Harry, all this. Florence, if I'd known. Harry, Karen, stop it. We're going to have to go outside. It's all right. Let me go. Let me go. It's all right. Leave me alone. Let me go. It's all right. Lee's got a nasty temper, hasn't he? And he's certainly got under Manny's skin. Ah, oh, well, look, Manny's got eyes too big for his belly, hasn't he? Della says you and Lee arranged for having him shot. She's a liar. She says you hired Jerry Naylor a week ago. <laughs> ah, yeah, we saw Jerry. But he came to us. He wanted a job in our kitchen. From what I hear, he ain't the type of geezer who likes chopping carrots. Well, when we bring him in, we'll see if he says any different, shall we? Look, we're businessmen, yeah? Yeah, Lee's got a lousy temper and he hates you lot, but he ain't a killer. Someone else wanted to pop at Manny. You don't have to stay loyal. You're not his keeper. I'm not staying loyal. I'm telling you the truth. If I had the guts, I'd turn that thing off. Don't say that. You heard the doctor. Even if she ever comes out of this coma, she'll never be able to walk to talk. She probably won't even know us. I love her too, Carrie. Oh, I wonder about that. Listen, I know everything seems really bad at the moment, but we've all been through tough times. Look at me, I'm 43. I won't have another baby. She was my last chance. He cheated, and our family is finished. No. I'm still here. And I will be here. Until she turns up. I don't want to see her again. You can get over it. You have to, for Florence's sake. You can work together. I made a mistake. I know. Please. We've both got to be there for her. I can't do it, Gov. Sorry? The drink. With you, tonight. Well, maybe we are... I'm not saying no. I'm, I'm just saying I need to think about it. So there is an attraction, then. You feel it, too. It's a big step. And before I make up my mind, I need you to do me a really big favour. Sarge. Yeah? Hang on, what do you mean you're not pursuing it? Well, on what grounds is that? The CPS has dropped the case against the judge. What? Sorry. The guy's been taking bribes. Well, that ain't in the public interest, apparently. No, 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 Mickey. CPS are going to make us go around in circles, man. We've got to do something about this now. There's nothing we can do. We wait for him to trip up, then we have another go. Oh, yeah? How long? This is a judge we're talking about. We don't just sit back and do nothing. Brandon, that's exactly what we do, OK? Believe me, I've been here before. We steer well clear now. Do you take this? Uh, yeah. 
He must have just missed them. East Greenwich Nick. They went round to get this geezer, Jerry Naylor. Apparently they reckon he's been out of the country for the last three days. What? Look, Della Rush put him in the frame for this Manola shooting. Well, she must have got it wrong. Turns out he's banging to this new bird who won't touch him till he gets a proper job. So? So, he joins a haulage firm, took a wagon across the channel on Monday night, and called to the gaffer he's on a fortnight's trip in Italy. Where's Ken? Knocked off for the night. What's up, this Della Bird been getting her facts wrong, has she? No. This Della Bird's been lying her backside off. You lied to me. I never. I never. And you lied to me and you can start telling me why. Della? Poor old Manny. He was just a scapegoat. It was you all this time. No, no, no. It's you who waited a wink to me twice. And Lee came back two nights later and broke both his legs. Last year, one of the regulars used to come into the bar and ask after me. He used to laugh at Lee, say he was too serious about life. Lee broke his jaw and his collarbone with a baseball bat. A very long time ago, I planned what I'd do if I ever did really fall in love. I just want to look after that person. Manny was... well, he was unlucky. What are you talking about? I couldn't bear the thought of you getting hurt. Manny had a crush on me. I encouraged it so that when Lee picked up that I was happy, which I knew he would, I could make him think it was because of Manny. You... Callous... I did it for you, John! Yeah, but Jerry Naylor has been out of the country for the last three days. Who did the shooting? He can't have been. I saw them talking. More than three days ago. So who did the drive-by? You? He must have done it himself. Who? Lee! He went out this morning and came back and got drunk. He never gets drunk. Where's the gun? I don't know. He must have dumped it. Well, I need evidence. The man who shot Manny was wearing a black leather, yeah? Well, can't you see if the witnesses recognise it or something? It costs two and a half grand. He's not going to dump it, is he? Oh, there. Now, he must have put the gun back in there while it was still up. This thing would be caked in gunpowder residue. Is that enough? Yeah, it's enough. I haven't done anything illegal, have I? So I'll be all right. Hey, I heard your good news. What you might have done? Yeah, very convenient. I think you mean I'm very pleased for you. No, love. Because now I know there really is something wrong with you. And I can't help what you think you know. But you remember what happens to people who spread false rumours. Oh, are we going for that drink? Yeah, give me five. Sure. See you in the car, yeah? Yeah. Survived the gunman. No, no one came back. Carrie will be relieved, and Joe. You called him, yeah? Nothing happened. He wanted it I to... I don't want to know whatever lies you're telling your wife is your business. I'm not telling her lies. Not anymore. Really? Yeah. Yeah, really. Listen, if me and Kerry are going to have any kind of future together, then I just need to be honest with her. What are you going to tell her? Sometimes I like blokes and... I don't know, I'm just a bit confused. Are you going to tell her that you're gay? I don't know. All I know is that she deserves some kind of truth. You're doing the right thing, Luke. Am I?
Keza. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's this? Well, I figured I'd do a recce before tomorrow, and I thought, hey, I might bump into you. So again, congratulations. Oh, thank you. I, ca I can't drink. I'm pregnant. I go on. Two sips aren't going to hurt. <laughs> so this is it. Home of my heart for the next year or so. I've never heard it called that before. Oh, look, thanks for this. It's perfect. I want it to be a really special night. There you are. I've been hanging on for you. Are you okay? Me, I'm fine. Today I learned a very valuable lesson. There's no point worrying about things that you can't do nothing about. Oh, and I'll never trust another dodgy bird who runs her own taxi firm to sort my head out. Well, I've got three hours left before I can go out, put it all into practice and get myself royally smashed. Thank you. okay? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to tell me? Is it something nice? Can we wait till we get home? Yeah, of course we can. Give me a chance to cheer you up. Oh, uh, talking of which, I want to get a takeaway on the way back. Something nice to go with this. Champagne? It's for us. I'm only going to have a bit, though. Why? Um, I was going to tell you later. I can't wait. What? Can't you guess? We're going to have a baby. We're going to be a family. Next time on The Bill. Now! You wreck kids' lives in other ways, don't you? I pull in the packet of sweets. It's hardly wrecking his life. What have we here? And I don't know what you're crying for, madam, because I haven't even started with you yet. 